Hi everyone, Rich Forney here for the Forney Real Estate team here at Remax, Simcoe County, uh, here in my office, uh, July the 5th or 6th, somewhere around there, uh, recording this video. This, in this video, we're going to discuss what's happening in, happening in Springwater Municipality, area of Springwater, um, so you can have a better, clear idea of what you should do if you are thinking of buying or selling. Data is everything. Um, without it, we are run by our emotions and we do need to understand what's happening in a current marketplace before we make any selling or buying decisions. So what I'm going to do here is share my screen, give you a little sense uh, or bird's eye view of what we're seeing in Springwater. As you can see to the left here, um, Springwater area, all price ranges, property types, sizes, all bedrooms, all age groups. Um, let's look at sales for the month of June 2020. Um, 38 deals in Springwater, up almost 60% from June of last year. If you've been watching any of my other videos for the month of June, you understand that we're going to look at cumulative um, days from January, the beginning of January to the end of June 2020 because a lot of these deals that were are being done or were done in June were carry forward deals from late March, April, and May. So even though this says plus 60% from June last year, um, let's take a look at um, – um, year to date numbers. Uh, it's only up 11% um, but, um, from last year, right? So we're looking at um, June, uh, sorry, January 2020 through to the end of June 2020. Um, there were 141 deals done cumulatively. Last year, there's 127. So the market um, from a volume basis up around 11% last year. Um, a vo dollar volume is slightly different. Let's look at um, uh, month to month uh, this year versus last year again you can see dollar volume in June 2020 versus last year is up significantly almost 102 percent in terms of dollar volume um, but that's not a fair number that's that doesn't report everything and 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 really that's really misleading because if I look at year to date volumes um, volume in terms of dollar volume um, cumulative January this year to June and in June this year is 107 million versus uh, 86 million last year. So still up almost a full 25% in terms of dollar volume from last year. Um, this says a lot actually. Um, so let's look at monthly data in terms of month supply. 3.3 months of supply uh, in spring water. It's down 45% from last year. We had uh, almost six months of supply at the same time last year. Just tell us not, there's not a lot of sellers wanting to move. Um, they're not sure where to go next. And, but there are people who generally want to uh, uh, get into that market. Um, month to month, this is a really uh, telling number, 49 days on market in spring water. Um, that's a huge number. It's almost a, an 82% jump from last year. Um, average days on market, 27 days last year versus 49 days. So what does that say? So one, is there a higher priced properties on the market than last year? Are people trying to price uh, to get maximum value, which hopefully they are because they're trying to sell their property, but are they pricing themselves out of the market? Um, which is, um, is something we're going to have to dig a little bit deeper to understand why days on market is, is, is so high relative to um, last June. Let's look... Um, uh, Percentage of list price I'm really interested in. Again, we're seeing this number across the board, um, very close. Most boards or most areas are within 3% of list price. So if you are thinking of buying, um, you know, keep that number in mind. If you're thinking of selling, be really um, focused on the, the list price that you're going to bring to market. Um, and, and if you price yourself too high in this market, even though there's um, low inventory, buyers are very astute and they're still looking for something that makes sense to them. Um, so if you are thinking of making a move, please feel free to reach out to us anytime. This is just a bird's eye view. It's not fully indicative of what's happening in a particular neighborhood, in a particular street, in a particular house. Um, this is just a bird's eye view so you can have a better sense of what's happening out there in the market. The market is still very liquid. Uh, it's very strong, specifically in Barry. So if we are thinking of making a move, feel free to reach out to me at any time. Please hit subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if you are there right now, click the little... Uh, bell, uh, the icon, which will notify you whenever a new video is uploaded to YouTube. Thanks again. Have yourself a great day and please feel free to watch any of our other videos. Take care.